Hi guys, me Dai Chance Brick right here. And this is another video, and today I'll be doing the review for the O2 Up Porsche 918 with the YSR package. So let's get straight to this video. Alright, so before I dive straight into reviewing this model right here, I'll be reviewing the front part of the car but before moving towards the interior. Last but not least, the exterior, which is the back part of the car, which is the exhaust area and also the tail light area. So, let me just dive straight into the front part of the car first right now. So, let me just focus on the headlights. For the headlights, it's got this very iconic Porsche headlight, which is the four LED dots right at the top. So many just top right here and also same for passing driver's side as well and yeah usually for the in the real life car you can on it as your daytime running light to make it more make it look more posher like if, if you can call it but yeah nothing much to talk about it other than the headlight is very nicely detailed and just right in the middle you got your posher emblem which is a very nice touch as you guys can see the camera could focus so yeah it's a very nice touch right here so yeah next up let's move on to the next part of the car which down right below here which we got the events located right at the front on both the drive right passenger side as well as got some more vents right at the bottom to cool the car down whenever it's accelerating hard down a long straight so yeah other than that there's not you can't see much behind it because it's just mainly black mesh grill so yeah other than that nothing much to talk about it other than it's quite nicely detailed and replicate the real life car quite nicely moving on we got the wheels right here which are the wise up the wise up package wheels which is different from the standard 918 wheels so yeah i'll be putting a picture right beside here so yeah this is the standard 918 wheels which look at a big shape or you can call it but yeah with the wise up wheels you get this type of wheels right here and if you saw my carrera gt video well it is something similar to that so the basically the 918 is a successor of the carrera gt the carrera gt is a successor the successor for the 959 so yeah so meaning the 95 you got the 959 first correct me if i'm wrong but you got the 959 first the carrera gt then the gt1 if i'm not wrong or the gt1 came first before the carrera gt and the 918 and you got your current day hypercar or the best car that porsche has created so far the 918 spider so yeah so meaning that you got your blue center locks right at the, on one side and the red on the center lock on the other side which i'll show you guys in a second but and then you got your acid green calipers right here, which is a very very nice touch, which is only you the e hybrid Porsche will get the acid green uh brake calipers, which is like mainly you got because the nine eighteen is a mainly it's a hybrid, so you got power your you got your combustion engine and your electrical elect, your battery working together to produce a insane amount of power. So yeah. So that you did this type of found on the Panamera and the Cayenne model. So yeah, so you did acid green, like what I mentioned, you, acid green brake caliper can be found on, on other models as well such as the Panamera and Cayenne. That's is what I'm mentioning about. Moving on, let me just show you guys the trunk space for this 918. So to open up the hood for the 918, it's just very simple. Just need to leave either side of this one and many, voila. So mainly is your trunk space for the 918, which is a uh, quite decent amount. As if you guys didn't know, the 918 is also a convertible car, so you can store your carbon fiber roof at the front here as well. So, but other than that, you got your nice suitcase right at the front right here, which also had the had the 918 uh, model destination right here, which is a very nice touch. And the cup, the cup, if you call it the hood, is finished in this very nice carpety interior, call it. But yeah. And then there's nothing much to talk about it, uh, yeah. The surrounding of the hood is not much other than this black plastic or carbon fiber, you can call it. Unfortunately for the hood, it's using this black plastic as well. So, yeah, nothing much to talk about it other than the hood is latched on by these two small magnet by the side, one at the side, one at the driver's side, and one at the passenger side as well. To close the hood, it's quite simple, just need to push this down, and you, got, you should hear this clicking sound to show you that the car is fully closed. So yeah, let me just move on to the interior right now. So maybe this red and blue center lock comes from the racing series, so to make it more easier to to switch tires. So yeah, maybe red will be for the driver's side, blue will be for the passenger side. So yeah, that is one one way of 
uh doing it slow so yeah and then you got some of these small vents right here to channel air through so yeah I forgot to mention there's some vents here as well so to mainly for airflow so yeah other than that not much talk about that main thing here is you got some uh air vents right here as well and you got your e-hybrid name uh thing right here so which is a very nice touch moving on we got oh, sorry about that moving on we got the roof of the 918 which is finished in this carbon fiber finish which i don't get camera groups so yeah that is what it looks like finish in this carbon fiber finish which is a very very nice touch and you got more carbon fiber at the side right here and also on the mirrors moving on let me just show you like the oh yeah before i show you like the interior let me just show you one more thing which is the charging port which you got right here which is a very nice touch you got fuel on one side and e-hybrid on the other side as well so that it doesn't so that it doesn't complicate or mess up the charging procedure of whatever things but yeah other than that let me just show you that interior right now which is you can open up to this small jack right here but yeah and yeah here it is the interior for the Porsche 918 spider so it's finished in this brown, lovely brown interior with the black so it's mini black and brown interior with the mini the brown dominating the whole of the interior with a green SE green uh, 12 plot strike right at the top right there other than that you got your casual gauges right there which is your sp speedo and all the other necessary things that you expect in the 918 to be well replicated into this model right here moving on you got your center console right at the side right here which is a very nice touch and yeah other than that nothing much to talk about it because it is made a track car plus also a daily driver so there's some features you do when you opt for the wide shaft package they will remove it but you can opt it back at no additional cost if i'm not wrong but that i'm not too sure don't quote me on that but yeah you got some of these lovely carbon fiber details right at the side right here and some more right at the door cuts right here which is a very nice strike and a very nice touch with some white pins right at the side right here and you got your full handle right here just to save some weight so yeah leather strap right here instead of the conventional metal thing that you use to open the doors to save weight as well other than that let's, let me just show you guys the roof function so yeah to remove the roof for the 918 it's quite simple just need to open the doors on the passenger and driver side and once you remove once you open up that you just need to put your finger in right here and just light it out and it should open up and the roof should easily come off by itself so let me just one side and the other side should pop up just like that and voila you got a convertible Porsche 19 right now so which is a very nice touch so yeah mainly this roof if you if you guys know mainly now auto or they don't do metal roof it's just this plastic roof so when you drop it on the floor you don't hear a single thing compared to the old auto model which like the vector roaster right there when you the roof is made of metal same as the car as well so yeah that is a very nice touch but unfortunately auto now they don't do it anymore just to save cost which is a very bad bummer but yeah i can't do much because it is slightly more expensive to do metal other than composite plastic right here so yeah to store the roof for the 918 is also quite simple just need to open up the front of the car again and put this roof right it's either you put the one side in just like that and the other side facing the other way around and it should nicely close just like that and close it down but seems like i did wrongly so yeah just give me one sec but talking about the vents just now i mentioned earlier on about here so yeah maybe it's also you can see through right here which is a very very nice touch so yeah just give me one sec and let me just fix this roof issue so just be right back all right so i mean i figured out what i did wrong so yeah so mainly you just need to put this pin right here which you're looking at right here for the first part of the roof down and for the second part of the roof you just need to put the pin right here on top of it and it should latch on it should be uh very flush to the first roof you place at the bottom so just like that it the roof the car should fully you should be able to close the front of the car nicely without any interference at all all right so let me just talk about the back part of the car right now so for the back part of the car right here you got your uh top mounted exhaust right here which is a very nice touch on both sides which is one thing i love about the 19 a lot 
we got uh, some of this nice grill right here and usually this part right here we got your the your number of the night uh, out of the 918 car produced this is what this is your serial number right here so yeah other than that you got some of the meshing right here which is a very nice touch and right behind this mesh engine you got your this big carbon fiber spoiler which is a very nice touch and you could adjust the angle attack by just slowly touching it and you can adjust it quite nicely to a uh, angle attack mode which is what i prefer the most and as it looks very aggressive and yeah other than that, not much talk about it. You got your rear tail light right here, which is a very nice touch, which look like this hollow look on both sides as well. And yeah, Porsche, and you got your Porsche model destination number and your Porsche logo right here, which Porsche ninety five and right down below. You got your license plate holder, which is a very nice touch. And for the one shot package, there's one thing, which is you got this flakes right here if you can call it this carbon fiber flakes which set it apart from the standard 918 and the 918 with the white sub package so yeah and you got this rear diffuser as well which make it more aggressive as well and if i'm not wrong this should be your reverse light and your reverse camera should be here if i'm not wrong and that is quite nicely detailed for the carbon fiber for all the carbon fiber details that auto has done and yeah oh yeah you got your third brake light here as well i forgot to mention about that other than that yeah Unfortunately for the engine bay, you could technically you could uh unscrew the some screws at the bottom and reveal what's behind this, but uh I'd rather not do it because it's very complicated and you think in real life you you don't really see an engine of a nine one eight. So hence I I I will not be reviewing the engine detail for this Porsche nine eighteen spider but let me guys show you guys how to operate the wing. So let me just to close the wing down is very simple, just need to push both of the hand down and it should lock back in this in position and yeah let me just hold it for one sec guys all right so so mainly just need you both your hands and just lock it down right and it should be very flush so there won't be any gap and to operate the wing quite simple just need to there's a button right at the bottom right here if, if i could show it to you guys there's a button right here which is you just need to press on it and it should pop right out so yeah let me let me put, if i could find it so uh hold on yeah just like that not the guys hold on i'm gonna show you guys that again but yeah i think you guys saw that but don't think I'll be doing it again just to prevent it from breaking. So yeah, that's the function for the 918 Spider. So yeah, let me just give you guys my overall thought for this model. Well, what is my overall thought for this model? Well, uh, if you, maybe I'm just going to address this first. So if you're a Porsche fan of a 918 or if you're just going out there to collect the Holy Trinity, which is the P1, La Ferrari and the 918, which I have right here. And I think you by now you, you guys will, you have saw my P1 video. So yeah, if you haven't watched the video yet, I'll leave it at the end of the video. So do click the video to watch the review for the McLaren P1. But other than that, if, uh, like what I mentioned, if you have, either you have a Carrera GT or the 959, or you have both of that and just setting up to find a 918 right now, uh, I would generally say the 918 now in the market is quite hard to find because it's been it's already no longer in production so your chance of finding one is quite hard but for right now you can try eBay usually eBay eBay's usually will have some decent looking 918 for sale at a decent price if you can call it because uh, disclaimer I don't really search through eBay because I mainly based on where I'm located right now in here in Singapore I mainly on carousel because for the carousel market here for to our to my local viewers uh carousel there's only i think one or two people that selling it at a decent price so yeah uh if you want to go for if you intend to get a 918 definitely go for it because it's definitely one of the i will say if at a certain angle when you look at it it's definitely a very stunning model to look at because it is something about the front i like the most because when you look from far this this shape of the 918 i really admire well you look for other angles, it's alright, but uh, I I definitely would, I wouldn't say I dislike it, but you got the, at one side, you got a convertible 918, and another side, you got a roof 
you got cook cut if like a roof cut with a roof so many can just put the roof on put the roof off at uh any time you you feel like doing it so but yeah um i think that's my overall thought for this model if for this model yeah so if you guys want to follow me don't forget to follow me on instagram at diecast break and my instagram should pop right about here and turn the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click here to subscribe and click here to see my two other videos and with that i will see you guys in the next video peace